we're asked to identify the slope and intercepts of the equation f of x equals negative one half x minus three, and then draw an accurate graph of the linear equation. So the first thing to recognize here is a given linear function is in slope intercept form, which is a form f of x equals mx plus b, where m, the coefficient of x, is the slope, and b, the constant term, is the vertical intercept. So again, because the given function fits the form f of x equals mx plus b, we know m, the slope, is equal to negative one-half, and we know b, the vertical intercept, is equal to negative three. So let's go ahead and enter the slope as negative one-half. Now we do want to give the intercepts as ordered pairs. So because the vertical intercept or horizontal intercept is negative three, this would be the point on the vertical axis, zero comma negative three. So we do enter zero comma negative three in parentheses. Let's also plot this point on the coordinate plane. So zero comma negative three is here. Notice that every point on the vertical axis would have an x-coordinate of zero, and every point on the horizontal or x-axis would have a y-coordinate of zero. So if we want to find the horizontal intercept algebraically, we set y, or in this case, f of x equal to zero and solve for x. So let's go ahead and find the horizontal intercept algebraically, then we'll verify it graphically. So using the given equation, f of x equals negative one-half x minus three. Remember, f of x equals y, so we said f of x equal to zero and solve for x in order to find the horizontal intercept. That gives us the equation zero equals negative one-half x minus three. Let's add one-half x to both sides, which will give us one-half x equals negative three. And now to solve for x, let's multiply both sides by two. So we have x equals negative six, which means the line crosses the horizontal axis at x equals negative six, which would be this point here. The ordered pair for this point would be negative six comma zero. So we enter in parentheses negative six comma zero. And now finally we do want to graph the line and we already have two points on the line, so we could make an accurate graph of this line. But let's also find additional points using the slope of negative one-half. Remember, the slope of a line is equal to the ratio of the rise to run, or the ratio of the vertical change to horizontal change along the line. So let's write negative one-half in the form of negative one over positive two. The slope in this form would tell us to go down one unit because the numerator is negative one, and write two units because the denominator is positive two. So if we start at the vertical intercept and go down one unit and write two units, we know this point here must also be on the graph of the line. But if we want to verify the horizontal intercept is correct, we're going to have to find points to the left of the vertical intercept, which means we'll have to change the form of the slope. Let's write negative one over positive two as positive one over negative two. Using the slope in this form, because the numerator is one, we would go up one unit, and because the denominator is negative two, we would go left two units. So if we go up one and left two units, this point is on the line. Let's go ahead and repeat, up one, left two. This point is on the line. Then finally, using the slope one more time, up one, left two, does verify the horizontal intercept is negative six comma zero. Of course, we only need two points on the line to graph the line. By finding multiple points, we were able to verify the horizontal intercept. And now the graph of the line must look something like this. I hope you found this helpful.